Hi, it's me again, Callum from Town Valley Motorhomes, and today I'll be handing over the VW Camper, which was converted by Crowder Lodge in Felon in Gateshead. So starting we'll walk around on the driver's side of the vehicle first. There's not many points on the vehicle, but just under here, you do have one vent for your diesel heater, and then you have a grey pipe here, which is your waste pipe, which is just off your sink, so you may want to put a dish of some sort under here to catch the water that you do your dishes with or anything you've drained down the sink. And at the back, you've got your mains connection point where you get your hookup lead, lift the collar, slide on, hook the van up first, then the point, as we wouldn't want you walking around with a live lead in the rain or should the lead be faulty. And then next to it, You've got your fresh water, which opens the little key there. You'll be able to turn that off, and then you'll just be able to put the hose pipe in there and fill the fresh water tank, which is on board underneath the wardrobe there. Come around the back of the vehicle. You'll notice on the bottom bumper, you've got parking sensors. Then in here, which is your wardrobe with a roller door this side to access from the vehicle. You've got your EC155 unit, so you've got your trips on mains electric, so your RCD and MCBs, and then you've got all your 12 volt fuses, so it would be a good idea to carry some spares. Then underneath this panel here, if you lift that off, that is the location of your fresh water tank. And the drain, you'd simply just drain it all out by opening the tap. And then below, doesn't come with a bottle, but the bottle you'll need, this is just our test bottle, it's a Campton Gas 907 bottle, and you simply turn the bottle when this is screwing on to the bottle, and you turn on and off via the top, the little red tab there to turn the bottle on and off. Make sure it's off when you travel, and you can turn it back on when you arrive on site, just safety when you're traveling. Got storage underneath here which you can access from both sides and in the corner there you've got a jack and a brace, a tornai, so that's everything for your VW to change your wheel. And then on the back, fitted lines with press studs. On both windows, to black it out on an evening or if you're leaving the van unattended when going out. Okay, coming round to the passenger side of the vehicle, put your sliding door. You've got your diesel intake here, so you're just filled with diesel fuel. And then because it's a new style diesel engine, it's got add blue. So it'll indicate when it needs add blue. It'll give you a mileage countdown. Don't let it go completely dry of add blue because the engine won't start. And it, halfway down that countdown, it will go into limp mode to protect the engine when it's getting low of add blue. But you can fill up on the pump, which is normally cheaper than the drums of it, or you can buy 10 litre drums and top up. And this tank will probably be about 15 litres from empty to top up. So open the bonnet. The bonnet release is just beside the driver's footwell in the corner. So it's just in the top corner here. So it's just above the accelerator pedal. So on gas struts, so no need to put a stay in place. Then you've got your various liquids, so you've got your screen wash, you've got your coolant, brake fluid, engine oil, and your dipstick for checking your levels and your power steering fluid. Weight plates in the corner there, so it's 2,800 2, kilograms gross, gross vehicle weight. If you were to put a tow bar on, you can tow up to 4.9 ton, and then you've got your front and back axle weights. And then you've got your engine battery in this corner here, so if you ever need to jump start the vehicle or use the vehicle to jump start another vehicle, you've got your positive and your negative on the battery. So once on board, you've got your main 12 volt control panel here. If you're hooked up, you'll get mains 240 volt. If you're not, you'll just get 12 volt off the leisure battery. 
Master switch in the top left hand corner there which turns the vehicle on and off. And you've got battery L which is battery, leisure battery, battery V which is vehicle battery. You always want to be running the camera off the leisure battery but you can press them to see the level so you can see the level of the leisure battery, level of the vehicle battery but you always want to make sure the blue light is on battery L otherwise it could flatten the engine battery and then you'll not start the vehicle. Pump here so once you've got some water on board you can turn the pump on which will pressurise the tap and then you've got your lights which are all then individually switched. Two three pin plugs which will use mains electric for household appliances, USB points, light switch and then to work the heater you use a little key ring here so you can turn it on and then you've got H so if I go up and down here now it goes from H1 to H2 H3, 4, 5 and 6 and then you can use this panel as well and H6 is 30 degrees and it goes up in 5 degree increments and it's telling you the temperature of the inside of the vehicle at the moment so it's pointless us having it on now because the vehicle is already at 26 degrees so it's going to do nothing but with the diesel heater you need to make sure that you've got half a tank of diesel or more for this to work as they're on different levels which this is designed for you can have the heater on as long as you want and it'll not drain the engine tank so you'll never fail to start wake up on a morning and fail to start the engine because you've run out of diesel and then to turn off you just press and hold the off button and it'll turn the panel off so it'll turn it on and it'll turn it off wireless phone charger there so if you put your phone on top of there it will charge when on means electric there you go it started to charge cupboard in here so storage and at the back you've got a gas tap for your hob got your microwave which is a mains microwave storage in here so in this bag here you've got a windscreen cover which clips around the outside of the vehicle so clips around both doors and mirrors and blacks the windscreen out out on an evening with the doors as well so that's from custom covers and then you've got a hookah bleed in the bottom your table just sits on the rail and can be pushed along there's two little catches which Lock it on when travelling, pull them back, lifts off, and then you can just press the button. So push it to the right to fold the leg on the table. Your fridge is just a 12 volt compression fridge, so you turn it on and off here by pressing holding and just press the temperature until the big bar keeps going down to the biggest dot which is the coldest temperature but when you're finished with it if you clean it out and just leave the door open so it'll stop any mold and bacteria growing in the fridge cutlery drawer and then these two offer your seat which lock the seat in but I'll get onto the seat in a moment cold water tap only and there you've got two lit gas rings allow them to cool down before you put the gas top covers down otherwise you could smash them leisure batteries underneath the driver's seat and this little switch is your isolation switch so if you didn't want to drain that battery down if you just press that it'll turn everything off and that means you'll never come to a flat leisure battery in the vehicle 
So this switch, sorry, it isn't an isolating switch for the main leisure battery. It's an isolation switch for the diesel heater. So it works on the control panel. So you can turn it on and off here, turn it on and then use the fob on the key or the control panel itself to turn the heating on and adjust the heating temperature. So to make the rock and roll bed out the traveling seats, if you lift this up, it releases the catch and then you've just got to get your hands in, pull it down until it goes flat and then when you want to back up, you just get your hands around the headrest, lift it up slightly, push it back and then push that back down and that's locked that into position. So to make use of your double passenger seat when on site, if you loosen the nuts off, lift them out, store them away somewhere, then what you'll be able to do, this is on a roller swivel base, so if you pull it back all the way, then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to turn it round fully and push it back, and this swivel base is much better than any other because it clears the door and you're not scuffing the panels and it's far easier to turn without releasing the handbrake but make sure when you're travelling it's always facing forward because you can't travel with it even locked in backwards because you can't see your passenger mirror so turn it round and then screw those bolts in until they're tight so in the pop top you've got your bed board here which forms your additional two berths so it is a four berth and then you can push this up as it's on gas struts to give you extra height room during the day. But when putting the roof down, pull the bedboard down. Then what you'll want to do is, you'll want to pull these down. So grab a hold, pull them down, get it so far, and pull the canvas in. So just rest it. Pull the canvas in on the side so it doesn't get caught between the roof and the frame of the van. Pull the front in and then you can just roll it over at the front. Pull the roof all the way down till it rests like so. Then you've got these straps on here. So slot the strap through. Tighten it up. Coil the excess of the strap up. And then, then what you can do is you can go round the actual head of the strap again. So just tuck that in a few times, roll it through, do exactly the same with the other one. And then that'll secure the roof down for traveling. And then you're ready to start your journey. Now in the cab, so on the door you've got your electric windows and electric mirror adjustment and if you turn it to the top, the mirrors then become heated. Locks the doors on an evening with the unlock and lock padlock. You've got your trip computer here on the end of your wipers and then you've got your indicators and your high beam side lights, main beam, and then if you pull it out, it puts your rear fogs on, and you've got your headlight adjustment on here. The bonnet release like I was on about is just this here, handbrake in the middle of the seats, five speed manual gearbox with open to reverse, which brings on the sensors. Temperature, fan speed and distribution and recirculation switch, hazards, turns your start stop off and your connection for the radio via USB, 12 volt point, lockable glove box and then you've got a 3.5 milli aux jack and an SD card if you want to slot an SD card in for music. Radios FM, AM and DAB, press 1. So you've got 
you can save four channels on the shortcuts or you can go to the list there which is this one here and scroll up and down media phone find phone and that's how you connect and then your media is either CD or auxiliary input once you've connected to it it'll probably ask if you want to allow your contacts to be downloaded press allow and then you can scroll through here and if you've got a number saved in your phone book you can press and dial it from the screen and then like I was saying the silver screen goes from door all the way around on the outside velcros over the mirrors and just attaches on the corner of the door here